Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. Okay, so I am so excited to do this project. Uh, these, I found the images on um, Etsy. They are the Disney princesses, the toddler version. And I'm um, one, they're just absolutely adorable, right? But two, the best part is the way the images are broken up. They are perfect for off the map because look at her face is broken up, right? Her neck is one piece. Her top is one piece. Her dress is one piece, her legs. So this thing, okay, I, I'm i going to make it challenging because at 30 inches, which we normally do, she would be absolutely seamless. The only seams that you would have would be on the edge in the black in the corners or in the, in the, the edges. Ugh. Um, but I just... I'm going to make it more challenging. It will have a seam because I think the skirt is going to be too big, but I'm going to make her four feet tall. And the reason why I chose four feet is because my daughter is slightly under four feet. So I think it would be so cool to have her standing next to this girl. She's going to be standing propped up against the door and it'll be her size. It's going to look amazing. And she's going to be so cute with the way they drew her face and everything so all right so we're gonna make it really big it's gonna be difficult because i'm gonna have to scroll up and down at 48 inches she's not gonna all fit on the screen even at 25 percent. okay so let's just watch so let's move that over in height i'm gonna put 48 inches and so see, she's, she doesn't even fit on the screen. So there is gonna be that portion. The other thing is, um, I haven't done any anything to the file other than I was checking for the sizes. I was really hoping to do her at five feet, um, but at five feet, I was having issues all over the place. But let's just ungroup this for a second. I'm gonna show you her skirt. Um, is 15, 16 inches wide so i will cut a seam i thought about making it like a deliberate seam so her dress would be in maybe three pieces like a line right here so it would have a panel here a middle and then another panel uh, but i felt like it was going to be more distracting because it's kind of in the middle so i figured what i'll do is i'm going to cut it down here because this part is already um open right but i'm gonna have i'm gonna cut it down here use my gold glitter cardstock so the gold is going to be a little bit darker than i would have wanted for her dress because there is that pale yellow that comes in um one of the sampler packages the glitter sampler packages with cricut um but that would show the seam so i don't want to do that but what i did do is um I dressed up as Snow White for Halloween. And so I had this cute little apple for my friend. She designed it. So I was thinking maybe if I put the apple right here, it would cover up some of the seams. Um, I don't think you would notice it in gold, so we'll see. But that's what that little apple is for. And I think it's just a cute detail. So, all right, let's get started then. Um, okay, so we already ungrouped her. So we're just gonna move everything over. Anything that we need to work on. Oh, but we do have something. I do want her hair in black glitter cardstock. So... Let me see, let's select all. She is definitely 48 inches. We'll deal with that at the end. Okay, so right now, let's just move everything over. So the red, we need um, we need to, it's all grouped together or welded together. So we need to separate it. Man, I'm losing my mind today. All right, so I'm just gonna bring in a square and we're going, I'm gonna make this bigger. And we're going to slowly work our way through this through the red okay so like i'm going to move it up here so see how that little piece was completely covered in my square i'm going to grab the two items you can only slice two items at one time so one item is the red and then one item is my square now sometimes i've seen people ask questions well this is multiple pieces of red so then they think that they can do multiple pieces of one color but the way this file was designed from the designer right look at this i can't ungroup it so that means these are all welded together 
If you're trying to slice and you have multiple pieces and it's telling you you can't slice, it's because you have more than two pieces, okay? So it just depends on how the file is done. So here's one little red piece by itself now, right? So let's go in and do this one. And you can see I made my square really big so that I don't have to keep on bringing in other squares, right? So like, see how that piece is there? Um, I'm just gonna flip this over. I'm gonna keep my bow together only because it's pretty efficiently packed in there. So I'm just gonna keep the bow together. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, and then these little three pieces, let's just do one at a time. This is, she's gonna look so good. And I was thinking maybe I would do Milan in time for Mulan's release. Um, but th yeah, they had all the princesses. It was just, I, I mean, they're so stinking cute to begin with, even the adult version, right? Um, <clears throat> okay, so our red is done. Let's do the next one, let's pull out. All right, so this is her face, uh, her body, okay. Um, so let's do one leg at a time. And you see my square is, overlapping this it is fine as long as my cursor over here I'm grabbing the skin and the square it doesn't matter that it's sitting over there my cursor only picked up two items and I can slice now see how this is 3.7 by 11.9 it's gonna give us an issue over here uh, it's gonna give us a warning but all you need to do is tilt it over a little bit uh, maybe a little bit more there now it's eight inches across 11.2 from top from the uh, from the highest to the to the lowest so you can do kind of like that manipulation um, to make sure that you can cut it on the Cricut so I'm gonna delete that this uh, let's see so that leg is good I'm gonna move it over here let's get this leg and see again, I'm just gonna grab enough for two items and I'm gonna slice it out. Delete that. Let's move this out of the way. All right, so let's deal with the rest of her body. Um, so this little shoulder area, we can stick it in here. Oh, but see her face is caught up in there. So you just wanna make sure that when you're slicing, you only get the piece that you want completely in this square like that and nothing else okay so let's grab those two things slice okay so we're good there let's go over here and grab this little guy over here so let's slice that out okay and you don't need any of the slice results like that piece we don't need Okay, so now these two pieces are done. Let's look at the face and see what we have. Um, so the face, let's move it back up. So I think it's supposed to be like that. Um, okay, so we need to separate the neck, right? But it's so close and it's a weird shape. So I'm not gonna be able to do it cleanly by slicing. So I'm gonna use contour. So with contour, I wanna break this up into two pieces, then I need two images of this. So I'm gonna duplicate it. So here are my two images, right? I'm gonna to go to contour and click hide all. And it's gonna leave me the face, but I'm gonna show you this real quick. I'm gonna get out of it. The face <laughs> is, is missing the eye, the eyebrows, right? So that's not what we want. We wanna go back to contour. You wanna make sure that all these little details um, are clicked on and actually the easiest way is let's go back and show all okay so we're showing all all we want to do is we don't want the neck to be part of this so there we have the face on this one I'm gonna do another copy okay I'm gonna show you something that we that will help us okay now on this one we want just the neck right so let's go to contour let's hide all and we're gonna, we want the neck, so we're gonna click on the neck. We don't want this face. There. So there's our neck, right? So it's perfect. Now, the reason why I made another copy is, you see how this is an open area? This one, 
because there's a slit right there, I think what I want to do, okay, and a million things going on in my head. Okay, what I want to do is I want to make this face, just the face, completely filled in and I want it to be black because I want, in case that there are any seams going through the eyes or through the mouth, that if I put a blank, a black piece over of just her face, it will cover all the seams that would go over it, right? So that would be really, really good. But I wanna deal with this really quickly. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're dealing with. Do you see how there's a slit right here? So that's why when we go to contour, we actually can't contour out this eye because it's open. It's not an enclosed surface like the eyebrow or her eye. So I think what I want to do is I do want to make it enclosed. So I'm going to bring in a circle and I'm going to make this unlock it so you can kind of play with the shape, okay? And maybe I should have brought in a square. Oops, what the heck happened? Okay, there we go. I'm going to turn it. I don't want to change her face so much, but this is okay because it's just, it's the copy of the face, okay? All right, so I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to weld it. Okay, so now it's enclosed, right? Okay, so watch. So let's go to contour. We don't want, let's hide all. We don't want the neck. We just want this face, okay? And then what we want to do is we want to make it black. So now it's going to cut an exact copy of the face, okay? So stick with me. I'm going to move this to the front. Arrange, send to the front. Let's pretend that there's a seam running down the eye. So now I have this black cut out. I'm going to put that. That's So I'm going to have my black background, okay, that has seams in it because it's, 48 inches, right? I'm going to put this black piece of cardstock behind my face. Now, any seams that would have gone through the eyebrows, the eyes, whatever, will now be covered. And so you won't be able to see the seams. So that's going to be perfect, okay? Okay, so let's make this smaller again. I hope that makes sense. I don't know how many other ways I could say it. It might make more sense when you see me put all of this together, okay? But this right now, just so you can see, I mean, at 48 inches, we have to slice this one up. So any slices in the face is going to be covered. It's so awesome. Okay. All right. So that's the face. Let's see. What else do we have here? We have this in blue. And I mean, let me see if I can turn this around a little bit because it's so efficiently packed. Okay. So I can't. So what I'm going to do is let's duplicate this and let's just contour out the sleeve. The sleeve is what's putting us over. So let's go to contour. Um, click here where the percentage is and it'll take you right to 100. All right. So what we don't want is we don't want this sleeve and we don't need the two little circles or petals, tears. <laughs> All right. Uh, what the heck happened? Okay, so now this piece can cut, right? So it's the two of her chest and then one sleeve. And then on this one, we need just the sleeve. So let's go to contour and click here. We don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need that. And we don't need this panel. Okay. And there's our sleeve. So now this we can cut on the Cricut, right? This is 5.4 by 5.4. Four. This is 10 by 10. Okay. Um, man, I almost feel like we should ungroup this so that we can fit maybe everything on one sheet. So I think I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to take out that sleeve. Let's go to contour. Let's just click hide all and see what we get. Okay. So left is that panel. I want this panel as well. Oh, what happened? Okay, don't want that. Okay, so we have our two right here, and then we just want this sleeve. 
So let's go to this one, contour. And we don't want this. And we don't want this. All right. So we have the blue broken up. I'm hoping that the way we did it, that I can cut it all on one piece of blue cardstock. It's minor, but you know, I do so many projects with glitter cardstock and I know it's a little bit more expensive, so I try to save when I can. All right, so let's see, what else do we have here? We have, oh, that's the black. All right, her lips are good. The eyes, I love using orange glitter cardstock for anything that's kind of like brownish. It's a dark, um, it's a dark orange. It could pass for like a brown. So I would definitely use that here. All right, this, I don't want that distance in between. So I will just bring in a square so I can slice it. Um, that way I can really save on my cardstock there. Okay, so let's grab those two things, slice. Okay, let's move those out of the way. Um, okay, so our yellow, our yellow we're gonna need to break up. So let's, oops, let's bring in a square. Let's do the shoes, separate out the shoes. Okay, I don't know if I needed to make that square that big, but that's okay. All right, so I'm in a lot of traffic, right? Oops, here we go. I want that shoe, so I'm gonna grab it like this, just enough to grab my two items. And I'm gonna slice. Okay, then I'm gonna put this shoe up here. And again, I'm gonna grab just enough. Slice. Okay, so I'm gonna move my square. I'm gonna get rid of these two little slice results that we don't need. Okay, so now we have the skirt. Oh, the two little things, they're so cute. Okay, so let's see. Let's turn this around and get that tip out. Right there. I'm gonna slice and then I'm gonna slice this one. Okay. I wish this skirt was, would fit, but you know what? It's, it's a good, that way you can see what I would do. Okay. So let's get rid of this square. Don't need the square. And I also don't need the slice results here, right? Okay, now with this, I kind of want to make, I'm going to bring in a circle and I want to make, I do want the skirt, the seam to kind of follow this cut right here. And let me see how big this is. This is 15. So actually I wonder if I should make the cut over here. Is, will that be enough? I need, yeah, I'm gonna cut right here. So, okay, so I'm gonna take this circle, circle, I'm gonna unlock it so that I can make it fit more of this line right here. Make it a little bit longer. Okay, so I kind of want it to naturally follow that. Okay, which I think, let me just, over a little bit. All right, I think that's good. I'm gonna need, I already wear uh, contacts. <laughs> I feel like I need glasses on top of my contacts. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab these two things, okay? I'm gonna slice. So what I wanna get rid of is all of this, right? So let's delete that. 
delete this. And what I want to do is, let's click on this and con mm, let's grab all of this and let's duplicate it so that we always have something to go back to, okay? All right, so here's our piece. Let's see if this is separated. How is this separated? Okay, so I'm gonna undo this. What I want is, I want just this panel by itself, okay? So let's click on this and go to contour. And I'm gonna get rid of this piece. So here's this piece. And I have my middles. Actually, I don't need this piece. What I want to do is then I want to go down to here and I want to get rid of this piece from here, right? So I'm going to go to contour. I'm going to get rid of this one this time. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to weld it. I only I want my skirt in two pieces, but hopefully you won't even be able to tell that it's two pieces. It's going to look like one piece when I put it together. Because I think this seam right here with the gold glitter cardstock, you're not going to be able to see the seam. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, so we have the yellow, we have our apple. Okay, so let's look at this. Why is this not? Oh, there's my white. Okay, so I'm going to ungroup it so I can get my white out. For some reason, the white was grouped in there. And I do want to separate this because I feel like it's not, it's an eight by eight piece and there's all this empty space. So I don't want that. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I probably didn't need to make it that big again. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the eyes together though. So I'm gonna slice here and I'm gonna slice up this piece. And that just gives me a little bit more flexibility when I'm rearranging my stuff. And I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you the make it screen so that you can see. I'm gonna slice this as well. And then I'm gonna keep each eye together. So I'm gonna take this and bring it down here and slice that out. And we're almost done. We have just her to break up because she's 48 inches. So obviously we can't cut that on the Cricut machine. Um, so we need to break her up and then a little extra because I'm gonna want to do her black hair and black glitter cardstock. So we'll, we'll, you don't have to do that. I'm gonna save that for the end end because that's extra. You definitely don't need to do that. Okay, so now everything is moved over. So we have this, um, I'm just moving everything over to the side so it's easy for us to deal with this stuff. And I should probably save it really quickly. So let's go to save. Snow white toddler. Did I do that? Yeah, 48 inches. Okay, so now we're going to be building our squares so that we can slice this gigantic project not saved, not available. Project saved as private. What just happened? Did I? What happened? I'm scared. I don't want to hit home. Okay, wait. Let me look at my phone. Let me see if it saved. Oh, man. Okay. Sorry, we're just pausing. I need to make sure that this image, that this, oh, come on. Design space, give me, help me out. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, machine setup. Um, short clear. Good lord! Just let me. I don't need to connect right now. Okay, here we go. Let's go to categories. My projects in the cloud. It is not in there. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, I technically want to cry, but that's okay, because you've, we've, 
we've recorded everything but the black image. Okay, so we can do this. And this is why I like to make them, uh, a, I don't like to just make them really big and just not have a precise number. So we'll insert the image. Okay. So sad right now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make her, and it's not even giving me the size option. Okay, what is going on here? I was gonna show you, but, okay, this is gonna have to be a two part video. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna show you how to do the black background in another video. And I can't add these two videos together on Loom. So I totally apologize, but we're doing it right now. I'm just gonna reboot. Okay, so grab part two. That will show you how to do the black background. And then it will also show you how to do the hair. Oh my God, this is craziness. Okay, see you guys in just a bit.